So this particular brown sugar cake, I'm going to fill with some fresh strawberries. I don't make a strawberry sauce. I don't mix them with water. I mean, sugar and, you know, do that kind of thing. I just put fresh strawberries in it. So what I have to do so that the strawberries don't seep into the cake itself is make a layer, light layer of buttercream along the bottom. So I'll do that just like this. And then I make a wall, we call it a wall. So I'm gonna take my piping bag and I'm gonna start and just spin while I pipe out icing in a nice little circle. We're gonna refrigerate this so that the icing has time to harden up. So it'll build a wall so that when we add our fresh strawberries, they don't go seeping out the side. So our cake has been in the refrigerator for about 15, 20 minutes to let the icing harden so that we can put the strawberries in. So I just have regular sliced strawberries that I'm going to scatter around. just like that. There we go. Now I'm going to take my second cake the same way that I did the first. There we go. Stick it right on top. Now, here's the fun part. I get to take my icing bag and go around the side to fill in all those holes. Like this. Then, we're going to put another layer on top lightly spread just like that my icing bag and then I'm gonna build a wall again and we're gonna sit this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and add the rest of the strawberries all right, so the second layer of the cake now has the wall built. So we're gonna put the strawberries in again. Okay. Oh, we have some strawberries left. Elijah's gonna be very happy. Take the last cake out. Same way that we have done before. And then I'm going to go around and seal in the strawberries. And then we're going to refrigerate it again. And then we'll come back and finish icing. All right, so our icing has all hardened. Now I'm going to do the dirty icing layer. I'm going to start with making a round at the bottom of icing. I can do two if there's enough in the bag. We're just trying to get rid of the icing in the bag, really. Okay. And then I'm going to take more icing over the top. I'm going to take my offset spatula, move it down the sides. I'm trying to get a crumb layer to lock in all of the crumbs, but you're still going to see pieces of the cake shine through.
Okay. Now I'm going to take my icing scraper and get right up close and spin it around until we have an even layer of icing around it. Do the same thing on the top. All right. Now I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. We'll come back and I'm going to pipe rosettes all the way around it. And then happy birthday on top.